One guy that's not here anymore, unfortunately, is Dynamite Kid. Do you have anything to say now that he he's passed away about that whole situation? You already told me in the last interview the whole story for anyone that wants to look that up. Oh, it's worse as if anybody wants to know what really happened. That's one of the stories that I tell in all my conferences every, every day when I go give conferences. Um, I would just like to say, uh, like I said in the last time, they were great workers. They were, they were, they were, but, but I think uh, Dynamite being a small guy, not high, not tall guy, a small guy, he, um, he, he must have tripled the efforts to, to make it up on top. And he must have worked so hard. And, and, and before that match, we had at the Madison Square Gardens where we did a 20-minute Broadway with them, Raymond and I against them, before the heat started because they were defending the titles in Madison Square Garden. We were just coming in as babyface. We were no names, and, and Vince didn't want to beat us. And that's the heat started there, I think, honestly. Uh, I, I just say I feel sorry for all the pain he's been through, for all the things he did. I think he paid it in twice, and I think that it's too bad for <clears throat> the family, his family that left him, and then the wheelchair, and everything that happened to him. Um, I wish that uh, I would have been their friends. I wish that I would have fit in with them. You know, uh, that's what I wish today. Uh, and I think of Kurt Enning, also, who instigated that incident, also was part of that incident, who's dead also today. Before that, I played golf with Kurt. You know, when we're on the road, we played cards, you know, we were like a family and, and but there was like every family, there was like arguments and there was jealousy and there was the hormones and there was all that stuff. And, uh, but in the bottom line is, even as people, not everybody knows this, but my brother Raymond and I, we haven't spoken in 10 years, I think, or something like that. We were the closest things that ever existed. And every time I do an interview, it's so funny because I always talk good about my brother. I always, I, I always tell him like it is and then sometimes you know it's uh, uh shit happens and uh, because of the bosses that try to put uh, discord between us and, and stuff like that and uh, caused some things that uh, raymond took some decisions but you don't there's not one day that passed that i don't speak about my brother raymond yeah and he still speaks well about you even though i won't get into that because it's your personal business but it's nice to see at least you guys still speak well about each other in public. You know what's fun, too, is that we're going to a Comic-Con uh, in about three months. It's been postponed. And we're going to be signing autographs together. In Raymond. <laughs> fun. Yeah. But uh, we have a, we'll have a lot to say. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. And click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews match videos or news updates support us on patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad free and help our channel grow follow us on twitter at the hannibal tv for instant updates